Um, hello there, Rebus Forever here. What was I going to say? Oh yeah, first of all, there's um, a side channel. I'm going to keep on saying this until I've at least got like some subscribers there. Not just a toy, it's where all the toy stuff's going to be. I've tried attaching cards to the videos to highlight that fact, but they don't seem to work. Anyway, so this is, this is, this is a game I bought with the very last of the Patreon money. I got this instead of uh, Super Seducer 2, which I'm pretty sure I could have gotten a video out of. But then, who wants to give him money? I know I don't, but I reckon I could have got a video out of it. Those are the two bits of housekeeping. Yeah, this game's okay, I guess, you know? I got it because people were saying Kingdoms and Castles a lot, and Kingdoms and Castles was a game I really liked. And also a game I got uh, some sort of relatively successful video out of. I'm not sure if this game will win me around, and I'll end up uh, making a review out of it. I'll be interested to see if it pulls that off. You have, like, levels and X amount of rounds. Like, I'm on day 20 of day 25 in this particular mission. I'm not very far into the game. But the test is whether or not a game gets you from the beginning parts to the bits where you're, you are far in. And I'm not entirely sure this game will. I'm gonna have a little go at trading, see if there's anything I have a surplus of. You have to make your money from trading and incidental sort of mission things here and there. I've got monks at the moment um, as a consequence of building a cathedral. But they're talking some sort of language there, aren't they? So I'm going to use the height advantage and hope that I get attacked along this side. But there's two fronts that I need to defend. And I should be mindful of that. So yeah, you've got your uh, hero units, which are here, the archer, and I also have a paladin, I think. Paladin, yep. Cool. Um, these are healing units. I'm going to get them to do their thing now. Just to top up on health, in case that makes a difference. Something's trying to pull the screen off to the left. Doesn't do it if I go to the right. Doesn't do it if I go down. I don't have a controller or anything. Well, anyway, that's to distract. Though it is a bit annoying. Um, so I have enough wood to plonk down another house, which I will do. I'll pop it up here, that seems to be relatively safe. I haven't had anything come out of these sort of caves, thankfully. Nothing needs repairing, so it's the end of the day, effectively. So it's sort of a turn-based game. You could almost imagine this being on a mobile phone or something. I have to assign work. I've had some periods of time where I didn't have any food, which your people don't like. So I'm going to try and stock up on food so I don't end up in that situation. And I need plenty of lumber. I have some people that were sick because I ran out of food, because I'm a bad leader. You get presented with these little choices at the end of the day, sometimes. Here I have somebody threatening my village. I'm going to refuse and throw him out of town. I don't go for full-blown killing, because that's not how I roll. And they decide not to raid me on this occasion, which is good. I guess that must be him. Pratt. Um, stop scrolling to the left. I've had a few crashes and a few random bugs. Sometimes the pathing doesn't work very well and people get stuck, like, on one of the edges of the hills there. Because the hills here have edges. Which wasn't quite as successful a horror film as the hills have eyes for whatever reason. Anyway, I should stop speaking. I think I can get myself another archer unit, which I will do. And I've got some armor that I can plonk down. So I'm going to give my melee units a bit more armor. 
Actually, I'm just going to spam out armor until I can't spam out armor. Which appears to be the point I'm at now. Okay, time to assign some labor. I should be fine for food. Let's get some more labor, uh, lumber. Also, um, I forgot to put the workers in place to build the house that I, cons I ordered construction for. And there it was. Now, last time I had this event, I let him stay for free and he robbed me. So I'm going to see whether or not there's different outcomes. There we are. No, brilliant. Excellent. See, you shouldn't always judge people. Hmm. So, anything that I want to trade... No, throughout the earlier part of this level, I didn't have very much gold, and I suffered for it. Okay, I'm going to pop down a tower or two, because we're at the stage where I think that could be a very good idea. I'm going to put one there, even though I feel it's going to do nothing. In fact, I know it's going to do nothing, because I keep on treating the towers like they're a ranged unit, but they seem to just spawn some troops that will go out and fight from it. Anyone hidden? Nope. I'm pretty sure everyone's all healed up, but let's make sure. Get the chain heal out. Okay, so assign work. We've fed everyone now, so they're not sick, but it's two days till harvest and we don't have any food currently. In the bank, in the granaries, stored. There we are, stored. Done pretty well to not be attacked so far. It's one day until harvest, so it's unfortunate to have six citizens, but... Unavoidable. And I'm going to plonk down another guard tower. Just here, in case I have to fall back. Unfortunate to have three people unwell. I absolutely can't afford to have a celebration now, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh, I need a road for that tower. I'm an idiot. Yeah, everything has to be connected via a road. I mean, this is effectively just a tower defense game. Kingdoms and Castles was a bit of a tower defense game, but there was a lot more town management in Kingdoms and Castles, and I like the sort of linear experience of starting off with... Oh, it built as soon as... Okay, the builders can build something, they just can't finalize it until there's a road. I like the linear component of like, you know, it being your, your town that you're slowly building up to something great over time. If some of the later missions have more buildings and you get more of that sort of town management sensation, that's great. I mean, it's alright, it does just feel like a tablet game or a phone game. I think if I was um, playing at PC, at a PC, on a PC, on my computer, I probably feel like I should be doing something more substantial. Ooh, scary. Okay, so combat. It seems as though I'm only going to be attacked on the low road. So I'll pull these troops down.
Only seems a relatively small attack. Maybe it's going to be constant. So, your people have abilities. I'm about to use the Paladin's Shield Bash. Just stop trying to walk through nothing. Okay, so it's a bigger attack than I anticipated. Or at least a more continuous one. Doing fine still. Let's bring these troops up. Still not lost very much health. And that was that was that was the combat. Got some magic beans. And we have a black market trader. Well, you know, that's that's the game. And there's plenty of levels. If we go onwards, you can see what I mean. So there's a, a, a fairly large map, I think. I can't navigate around it at the moment. I got the impression that there's more than just these missions here. Hopefully there's different territories. But so far, you know, it's okay sort of worth its price, but it's not kingdoms and castles. So yeah, once again, thank you to the Patreon supporters for making the purchasing of this game possible. If you want to support this channel, there's a Patreon or a PayPal. Please consider subscribing, because I'd like to make 300 before the end of the year. And don't forget about the other channel. If you like the retro toy or 40k and Lego stuff, not just a toy, not just a toy. That one. Toodle pip.